Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm sure many of you have noticed that I have not published anything in three days. And I feel like I owe you an explanation for that. But there's some things I can't talk about. Um, there is one thing I do want to talk about. Over the past three days, I've been spending a lot of time in prayerful consideration of my role on this channel with regards to my faith. And I've been watching a lot of videos of prophecies of what's coming in the future. What got me started on this, and I'm, I'm not going to give you any links. You're going to have to find this stuff on your own. But what got me started on this was a channel called Last Days, where a guy prophesied the assassination attempt on Trump four months before it happened. Now, if you are a Christian, if you are a believer, then you know that we have to be very wise when it comes to prophecy and make sure we don't get taken in. And so... I did a deep dive on this guy and several other people. And what I found was that there is a very strong consistency in the nature of the prophecies that are being produced around the world, not just in the U.S., and it concerns the future. It concerns my future, your future, the future of everyone in the world. And so I wanted to talk about that because I feel a burden to make sure that I have made you aware of what's going on. Now, I'm, this is not prophecy. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a simple man who believes in God. Very simple man. I don't see visions. Uh, I don't. I don't get any of that kind of revelation that those people get. The way that God works with me is very simple. He, he puts thoughts in my head. And I either obey them or I don't. And if I obey them, good things happen. If I don't, bad things happen. That's how simple it is. And I'm human, so sometimes I don't listen. But I, I am convinced that these prophets are speaking for God. And what they're prophesying about is some really difficult, difficult times ahead, not just for the U.S., but for the entire world. An economic downturn that will put people on the streets begging for food. And the, the uh, I don't know how to put this, uh, um, it's not the downfall of the United States, but it's the, uh, I guess I would call it the humbling of the United States. The dollar will no longer be supreme. The economy in the United States will be uh, severely damaged. And there's going to be very hard times ahead. So, I tell you this, not because I want to frighten you, but because it's important to me that you know what you can about what the future holds so that you can plan to protect your family and yourself. And the, the number one protection that I know of is to just put your life in the hands of God and say, God, I have no control over this stuff. You're just going to have to help me. And that's what I've done for many, many years now. 
and God has always come through for me, and I know he'll come through for you. And if you don't believe in God, then it's my prayer that somehow, some way, that you will see that it is truth, that God does exist, that he does care for you, and that he cares what happens to you. I'm going to continue making music videos and I'm going to continue praying for you, my followers, because that's what I do. And I believe that's what God wants me to do. But I'm making this special video because I want you to understand that there isn't much time left to turn to the Lord. We've only got a few years, maybe not even that long. And then really terrible things are going to happen. If you're at all familiar with the tribulation from Revelations, then you know something about what's going to happen. But if you watch these prophecies, you will find that it's much more devastating and terrible than you could imagine. And... When the day comes that Jesus Christ returns and he, he calls his believers up into the sky, then you will know that these words are truth. And I won't be here to do this channel anymore because I'll be with him. I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about what is popularly known as the rapture. All of these things are in the Bible, and you can study it for yourself. I'm, I'm not a preacher. I'm not... Uh, the, the only thing that I've ever been focused on in my life when it comes to God is his love. That's enough for me. I don't need to know all this other stuff, and I, I'm... Uh, I'm not... I'm not bothered by it in one aspect, which is that I, I'm not concerned about me or my family. But I am bothered by it in another aspect, which is I'm concerned about you and your family and the people that you love. And that's who I pray for every time I make a video. And so I just want to, I want to make sure that you know that if you've been putting off getting to know God if you've been if you've been if you've been delaying returning to the father then it's now time to stop with the procrastination it's time to get right with God all you have to do is search youtube for prophecies about the end times or prophecies about Trump and you will find all the stuff that I've found and you can watch it for yourself. I'm not going to give you links again. I said that. I'm not trying to promote anyone or anybody or anything except God. And I want you to understand that that is my focus. And I do this channel because it's an opportunity for me to share my faith with you and to make you aware that God exists. And then it's up to you what you do with it. I know there's a lot of you that don't believe in God at all, that just think he doesn't even exist, that it's all a big joke. And I don't expect that you're going to change your mind just because I speak a few words. But perhaps if you watch some of these prophecies, you might start thinking about the future. There's some things I, I will not share with you because uh, I don't want to terrify you. But you don't, there's no need to be terrified. If you're walking with God, there's absolutely no reason to be terrified. All you can do is be thankful. And that's 
that's where I'm at. That's where I've been for a long, long time. And that's where I hope you are. And if you're not, I hope that's where you will be. Because it matters to me. It really does. Uh, we've built a community here of people that I really care about. Yes, I know you live all over the world and I've never met you, but that doesn't matter. I feel like I know your hearts. And I hope that you will listen to this video and that you will take my words to heart. And even if you don't want to believe it, at least you'll listen. Uh, there's been some other things going on, but they're personal. I don't want to talk about them. Uh, they're positive. It's not negative. It's not health related. Uh, it has to do with family. But it's, well... I just don't want to share it and really it's none of your business anyway. So I just would ask you to, if, if you've been putting off, if you've been delaying, if you've been procrastinating about getting right with God, then I urge you to do so now because it's important. And now I'm going to do some videos on music because that's what we do and that's what I love. And I can't promise you I won't take another break. It depends on what God wants me to do. But um, I will be here until we're gathered together and then I won't be here anymore. I don't know when that will be. No man knows that day or the hour. But I feel like it's rapidly approaching. So enough said for me. I pray that if you do believe in God, that you get your heart right with him and that you start living depending upon God and not on the world. And if you don't believe in God, I pray that somehow, some way, God will work in your life to show you that he exists, to prove to you that he loves you, and to bring you into the fold so that you can be with me when that day comes. And then we can meet in person and hug. And I pray that same thing for every single person that you love. This is the Vietnam Rivet out.